Hello everyone! Welcome back to the Miniset Miracle series! If this is your first time watching, this is a series where I usually go back to every Hearthstone expansion that doesn't have a miniset and make my own. But today's video will be a little different. You see, I am far from perfect, so I don't always get the balance right on my cards. But thankfully you guys have pointed it out whenever I've messed up. So in today's video I'll be going back to my older episodes of Miniset Miracles and fixing all the mistakes I made. Let's go back to my miniset for Goblins vs Gnomes. For this episode I made the card King Gobamag, who would give you all spare parts upon death. But my mini set brought the list of spare parts up to 10, and a couple commenters mentioned that this effect would always fill your hand up and burn your next draw if killed during your opponent's turn, and he was generally considered too weak. Well, one of you suggested this change for Gobamag. Gobamag is still a 6 mana 4 5 with rush, but he will now cast any spare parts that don't fit in your hand onto random friendly minions. This might still burn a card, but at least you're now guaranteed value from all 10 spare parts. Now, attentive viewers may remember that one spare part in particular is quite bad if cast on a friendly minion, especially since I also changed this one to also silence the minion. Well, my update to this spare part was considered too strong by many, and a change was suggested. Instead of silencing and freezing a minion, Emergency Cooler will now only freeze the minion, but also give you 3 armor. This might still not be that great to cast on a friendly minion, but at least you get 3 armor. Those were the main concerns you had about my GVG miniset, but you also had some thoughts on my Grand Tournament miniset, mainly about the card Derry on the Ashes. Our destiny is at hand! This card was considered too strong, so Darion will change from being a 3-3 to a 2-3. Now for my cards for my Whispers of the Old Gods miniset. These cards were perfect, no notes! Okay, there were a few notes, mostly about the text on the card Battle God Satura. So her text will now probably be separated into a battle cry and a choose twice, as it should be. Another comment also mentioned Anubisath Giant being too cheap. So that card will now have its cost increased to 12. For my Mean Speeds of Gadgets and Mini Set, I made this card, which would essentially allow you to choose between two different upgraded hero powers for Warlock. However, the hero power Void Tab was very much disliked by many. A couple of people suggested changes, and the one that most people liked was a complete rework. Instead of dealing 2 damage to a hero and discarding a card for your opponent, Void Tab will now draw a card and then reduce its cost by 2. Another commenter also brought up a good point about my new Jade Golem cards. So these cards will now trigger the bonus if the Golem has 4 attack instead of 5, since that is when the art changes on the Golem. For my mini set for Journey to Unguru, there were actually several people who thought the balance was fine, and there really weren't any notes on the cards, so let's just move on to Knights of the Frozen Throne, and boy did you guys have some notes about that one. Many of you had wanted to see hero cards for Death Knight and Demon Hunter as Knights of the Frozen Throne. However, this will become a reality. I've already made a Demon Hunter hero card in my most recent video, and I plan on also making one for Death Knight in an upcoming video. So hopefully that should respond to this, but that was not the only note you guys had. Many of you just didn't like the theme. Choosing Shadowlands, which is generally disliked as the continuation for Knights of the Frozen Throne was the wrong choice. I'm not gonna redo the entire mini set for this video, but it is something I plan on doing in the future. Moving on, we got my cards for my Kobolds and Catacombs mini set, and you guys had a couple notes about those too. The first card you pointed out was Talkwaggle Jr. for Rogue. A commenter brought up a very convincing point for why this card was too weak. So Talkwaggle Jr. will change from being a 4 mana 3 3 all the way to a 3 mana 3 4. Yep, I strong! My Kobolds miniset also introduced a new unidentified spell for Druid. These are cards that transform into one of four different cards when they enter your hand. But there were a couple comments about this spell being too strong, specifically the channeling scroll version which gave two empty mana crystals. So this version in particular will now become the defensive scroll which gives an empty mana crystal and 5 armor. My next mini set was for the Witchwood, and you guys only had notes on a single card. Ivar Bloodfang was considered too strong, and you guys had a few suggestions for how to fix him. 
including one which I thought was really interesting, but unfortunately I couldn't find a way to fit it in four lines. So instead of any of that, Ivor Bloodfang will change from being a 6 mana 5 6 minion to an 8 mana 7 8 minion. My most recent episode of Miniset Miracles was my miniset for the Boomsday Project. I had a lot of fun seeing your reactions to the legendaries in this set, which all had a destroy the enemy hero effect. But a couple of you brought up an unintended interaction with my Mech Shiraj legendary for Warrior. The way I had intended this card to work was that it wouldn't be able to trigger from effects like Bladestorm if it didn't survive the effect. But you pointed out other cards like Rotface, which has a similar text and does trigger from Bladestorm's damage even if it doesn't survive till the end. While I really do think the card should work as I intended, it clearly wouldn't if implemented into the game. So Mechshiraj's text will change to, after you play a card, if this survived damage 10 times, destroy the enemy hero. It's a little convoluted, but at least it should be clear that this effect would only trigger once another card has resolved. Well, those were all the changes I had for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this slightly different version of our Miniset Miracles episode. If so, make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of Miniset Miracles, which will have new cards. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.